Hi, this is Dr. Jim Haley. I want to talk a few minutes about bioidentical hormone therapy. This is a very important topic and a, a very important thing for many women. And over the years of taking care of women and, and prescribing hormone therapy, I've found time and time again that patients are not given appropriate information, wrong information, are not taking the appropriate hormone therapy. So a lot of things come into play. The term bioidentical hormone therapy can also be confusing. Uh, ideally, what is trying to be done is that the hormones that a woman's ovaries typically made when they were menopausal uh, are uh, try, uh, or the attempt is that through a compounding pharmacy or a specialty pharmacy, they are trying to recreate or mimic what the body was doing during the premenopausal years. And so initially it was felt that these type of hormones were better than the synthetically made hormones, but there was just not a lot of research to back that up. But now there's been years of studies to show that pretty conclusively bioidentical hormone therapy is better. So I think for women that will opt to go that route or that can afford it and it's not an issue that that is better. Uh, just very briefly, some of the benefits of bioidentical hormone therapy that women should be aware of is that there are day-to-day -day benefits and then long-term benefits. Day-to-day -day benefits would be quality of life issues such as uh, helping to prevent or, or de decrease things such as hot flashes, night sweats, helping with mood changes, skin changes, vaginal dryness, uh, dry hair, brittle skin, nails, all these different things are a result of a lack of hormone uh, in the body. Bigger and longer term benefits that hormone therapy can provide are things such as protection of the heart, bones, decreased risk of colon cancer. There's still good evidence of decreased risk of Alzheimer's, uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, and dementia. So those are very, very big things that if a woman is on hormone therapy, say for 15, 20 years, can have a huge impact on their life. Conversely, if they are never on hormone therapy or not to that length of time, well, after 15, 20 years, it's too late. So very important decision about hormone therapy. Uh, not all doctors are up on the most current information. Some just are not interested. Some just don't know really what they need to know. So it's very important to go to a physician uh, such as myself and, and the other doctors here at Cherokee Women's who uh, are experts at this and that's what you deserve and that's what you need. So if you have <clears throat> uh, questions, issues, even if, you, if you're taking hormone therapy but just don't feel like it's being managed correctly, then certainly come and uh, have a sit down with us and we can discuss this in much greater detail. So anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Take care.